Oh, hi there. I'm helping my friend Hayden decide what classes to take next year as a sophomore. Like you, he is a freshman, enrolling for his next year as a sophomore. I'm also probably like you and that I'm a little confused in the process. All students need a minimum of 23 credits to graduate. Who is that? Don't worry, Hayden. That's just the disembodied voice of Mr. Know-it-all. Go on, Mr. Know-it-all. As I was saying, the state of Oklahoma requires 23 credits for a student to graduate. One year of coursework equals one unit of credit. That breaks down to four years of English, three years of math, three years of science, three years of history, one year of art, and one year of technology. The remaining credits go toward elective classes. There are actually three different graduation plans students can follow. What Mr. Know-it-all just went over is the state plan. Students can also follow the college prep or honors program, Mr. Know-it-all. In addition to the course requirements in the state plan, those taking college prep must also take two years of the same foreign language or one additional technology class. Okay, so the state plan already has you taking one technology class, but you need to have two with the college prep. That's right, Hayden. But Mr. Nodal wasn't done. Graduating with honors is optional. It is a distinction for students who maintain good grades and take extra core classes. Honor students must have a GPA at or above 3.25 by the middle of their senior year, with no D's or F's. Like college prep, honor students must complete two years of the same foreign language and take an additional credit in each of the core subject areas, math, science, and history. Additionally, two years of English must be enriched, including your senior year, and at least one credit of history must be enriched. So for honors, you're essentially taking four credits of all your core classes instead of three? That's right. The honors requirement break down like this. Four units of English, two of which must be enriched, four units of math, four units of science, four units of history, one of which must be enriched, two units of the same foreign language, and one unit of art. Wait a second, those numbers don't add up. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 19, and 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 equals 17. Neither 19 nor 17 is equal to 23. Good catch, Hayden. However, if you remember, Mr. Know-it-all went over that the remaining classes will be filled by electives. These classes must appear on your high school transcript in order for you to graduate. Algebra 1, Biology, Physical Science, U.S. History, Oklahoma History, Government, English 1, English 2, Financial Literacy, and CPR. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot of classes for one year. Don't worry, Hayden. You don't have to take all of those classes your sophomore year. Your sophomore year, the majority of students should take English 2, Biology 2, a History course, a Math course, and two electives. Many of you will also be taking your second year of Foreign Language or Technology. But there's an exception. If you fail any classes, you're going to have to retake it. For example, if you fail Algebra 1 in your freshman year, you will have to retake it in your sophomore year. Most soon-to-be sophomore schedules will have the following classes. English 2, a math class, biology 2, and a history class. The math class you take next year is based on the math class you are currently enrolled in. If you are in Algebra 1, you will take Geometry. If you are currently in Geometry, you will take Algebra 2. If you are currently in Algebra 2, you have the option to take either Algebra 3 or Pre-AP, Pre-Calc. If you are only following the state graduation plan and not going for either College Prep or Honors, you have the option to take Intermediate Algebra or Math of Finance. For Science, sophomores will take either Biology 2 or AP Biology. You have four classes to choose from for your history credit. World History, World History Advanced, AP Human Geography, or AP European History. Uh, um, what's that? This is your pre-enrollment form. This will help you choose the correct classes for your sophomore year. Are you ready to sign up? Uh, yeah. Not so fast. What if I were to tell you the differences between pre-AP and on-level classes? AP courses are taught on the college. Actually, Mr. Know It All, I got this one. AP courses are on the college level. They cover more material at a faster pace than traditional classes. If you are interested in taking AP classes, you should attend the AP night for a chance to talk about course requirements and summer work. There are two subjects you are required to take electives in, fine arts and either foreign language or technology.
Now some electives have special requirements to meet in order to enroll. Co-op PE requires a note from Ms. Glasgow. Athletic trainers require a note from Mrs. Dickinson. To enroll in either cheer or palm, you must have been selected in the March tryouts. Those interested in taking select or show choir should enroll in mixed chorus for pre-enrollment. Then, after an audition, Mr. Johnson will send a list of selective students to the counselors and you will be placed in their appropriate classes. Broadcast Productions and EPS Vision require teacher referral or approval and those interested in competitive speech and debate should speak with Mrs. Uthier before you enroll. You may also take an additional fine art, technology, foreign language, or core class as your elective. If a student has failed a class, they must retake that class as an elective. So wait, why do some people get to take three electives? Well, if you read up here, it states, once you've completed two years of technology or foreign language, it opens up as another elective. Okay, I think I got it. Well, I think it's time to give you this. Wow, thanks, Luke. You're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Know-it-all. Don't mention it. 